Hey, seventh and eighth grade. Um, I thought uh, I just got done doing your rhythm, no, your note name uh, video through the musictheory.net. So we're gonna go ahead and do one right now. Uh, the, the rhythms might be later. I don't know which order we're gonna do these in, but today I'm gonna show you how to do the um, key signatures, which I thought would be great for you guys. Um, sixth grade, I might go ahead and have you do this one too. So I have uh, gone ahead and pulled up um, musictheory.net. So pause this video, go ahead and take care of that. Um, you want to make sure that uh, musictheory.net is pulled up. They have this spot right here for exercises. You can do lessons also, which will help you uh, learn how to do these things and so forth. But we're going to go ahead and go to exercises. Okay. And... No, fifth grade, I might do this with you too. I don't know. Just click on note. I don't, uh, sorry, I just did no identification. That's not what I wanted. Sorry. Click on key signature identification. And as you can see, it has a whole lot of stuff. So we're going to go over here to settings, that little pinwheel, and we're going to click on whichever clef we play in. So if you play uh, bass clef, you can click on just bass clef. You can click on them both if you play harp. Um, you can click on alto clef if you're viola, um, just whichever clef. If you want all uh, all three of those, you can just click on grand staff if you want and alto clef. Um, oh, I guess you can't. Sorry. You'd have to click on all three. There you go. Okay. Then go back from clefs. Key signatures. It's going to ask you which ones do you want. Um, if you are in 7th and 8th grade, all of them. I know, you just rolled your eyes at me. Sixth grade, I want you to have these. So you have C major, F major, and so forth, okay? B flat, G, D, and A. Okay, those are the ones that are in your book too. So you guys can use your book too as a reference if you want. Okay, if you are in fifth grade, get rid of the ones with all the flats and do just C major, which is naturals, the one sharp of G major, and two uh, sharps for D major, okay? And once you have that, really pretty much you're good. Um, we're gonna do just majors. Um, if you wanna add in the minor, you can, but um, that's a little bit tougher. Seventh and eighth graders, if you wanna go for it, you can. Okay, I just talked about that, but I would expect basically that you have the majors down pat, okay? And once you have that done, then you can go here and go, oh, and see, it only t gives you the options of the three that you have available now. Sorry, my hand was just in the way. So if you look here, you got all three of the key signatures, C, G C, D, and G major. So this one is D major, and that's correct. One sharp is G major. And it's going to go according to the clef. So go ahead and do about, I don't know, 25 to 50 of those. Um, probably 25 is going to be good with this one. Um, but obviously something occurs, you have more key signatures, so you can go ahead and do a few more of these. It may be aggravating, but take that screenshot, please email it to me and then we should be all set. All right. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.